Okay, guys, um, I hope that uh, the volume is high enough because um, I just did two videos and uh, my, my microphone just malfunctioned somehow. So now I'm doing it without one because I don't have a backup. But I think uh, we'll be doing okay if I just talk loud enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, a couple of backgrounds and then I'm going to use stencils to stencil them. And this is uh, Hahnemühle, that's the name of the paper, Hahnemühle, and it is uh, acrylic paper, which has this linen structure to it. And I really like to use it because it's nice and thick, and it works for me. So, we're going to uh, use a little sponge, as you can see, already dirty from the previous ones. And what I'm using is a brush. Uh, this is a pretty big brush. This is a one inch uh, Daler and Rowney flat wash brush. They are not expensive. They are on the uh, cheap side. So what I do is I load up the uh, sponge with the colors I want. And as you can see I'm using uh, four colors. And uh, I'll explain to you in a bit about the uh, change of colors because what I want to do is um, I want to get into some really beautiful sea glass colors now first what I do is about a third of the page I do with the sponge and then I come in with my brush and just give it one final brush over and <clears throat> that sort of blends those colors in. Wait a minute. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> now, uh, if you want more blue in it, you load up your brush and you put it on like that, just a little bit, and then just come in and give it a nice little extra wash. So then you see that you get all these gradients and that's what we're going for. So loading them up again now I was going to show you uh, the collage the thing that I was working on but here's what happened I was um, I was uh, all ready to go and I started to put it together and just all of a sudden I just did not like the colors they, they were too turquoisey well, can you believe that I said that? But <laughs> they were. There was too much turquoise. They were too dark. And uh, it just didn't give me the... Uh, because, you know, I had built this up in my mind for quite a time. Um, the, uh, sort of imagining, you know, what it was going to look like. And um, it just did not, you know, do it for me. So I didn't even put it on a... Uh, I didn't even put it on a uh, panel because it was just, I'll, I'm going to show it to you next week. But um, it just didn't do it. And so I sat there and I was thinking, you know, what's going on? Why don't I like it? And it's just because it was too intense of a color and I want it to be more dreamy, more in touch with the gold. So that's why I'm going totally a different way and I'm doing it with these sea glass colors and that's what my collection is going to be called the sea glass collection so this one as you can see it starts to really warp but as it dries it goes totally flat and that is the thing about this paper that makes it so likable <clears throat> Now we're going to come in with the next one and I'm going to answer, answer a few questions I had on my last video and it was about um, the paint I'm using because you can see it's pretty thick but they asked me you know did you put paste in there or something else and no this is just how um, Windsor & Newton Galeria is right out of the jars I have the 500 milliliter jars and this is how it pops out so it's pretty thick let's put the blue on that side and it's pretty thick and 
exactly what you really, really want. So that works out perfectly. Now, I'm sure you're saying, wow, yeah, that looks like sea glass, because it really does. The colors are really beautiful. And I'm sure I'm going to be getting a other question about, okay, what are those colors? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I anticipate all my questions. So uh, the colors are all, all you need is, um, you can buy even smaller, you know, you can buy the tubes. That's no problem whatsoever. The tubes are good also. So the tubes are, I think, uh, 125 milliliters or 200 but I go with the 500 because I use so much paint because I also pour with this. So, uh, but you can, you can buy tubes and all you need are a few colors to replicate this. Um, you need the uh, titanium white because that's the base of all these colors. So titanium white and that's opaque. Uh, that works really well. And then of course you need the uh, phalo blue, the phalo green, and that makes up most of these colors, the, the turquoise greenish colors. But then for this one, this is a eggshell color. I put in the titanium white, a little dot of Naples yellow and a dot of titanium buff. So those are the colors that you'd you'd really want to uh, want to uh, buy. So phalo blue and green, titanium white, little Naples yellow, little buff titanium for that one. Then we have here the greenish patina color, which I think is a really beautiful color. I mixed up a lot of that. Um, that is uh, also the phalo green and blue. But then at the end, when you got it all mixed, uh, you need to add a little bit of... Uh, burnt sienna because that gives that the patina look so the little bit of burnt sienna and then of course you need um, maybe uh, like a, an ochre ochre color oops normally I paste this down the papers but now because I'm doing it pretty fast I didn't tape it down let's get that out of the way okay that's that so the next one and uh, that's really all there is to those colors so um, if you were to have to choose I would always choose um, the uh, phalo blue and green because that is really what you want uh, for all the turquoise colors and then of course uh, a lot of titanium white that's why they have titanium white in the really big jars where they put in like a uh, I don't know, <clears throat> I think about a, a liter is in there. I need a little bit more blue up over here. So uh, that's gonna be good. Now, the other advantage of this is that it dries really, really fast. This is, uh, this will be dry in a, oops, my finger went in there. This will be dry in about 15 minutes. So uh, that's good to know. You can even put a, use a hair dryer and then it's dry in five minutes. Now I was going to tell you about the uh, what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to use stencils and I'm going to do a, um, a really shiny gold mica on top of it. And I'm going to use a, a heavy gel to uh, make that work. So uh, that's going to be uh, a lot of fun. And I'm sure I, I told you a lot of other stuff in the, in the previous videos. But you can't hear a thing I'm saying. Something just, you know, started buzzing. And uh, you can't hear me at all. And I, my husband said, um, why don't you just do a voiceover? But uh, really, I don't like voiceovers because... When I'm painting, that's when I'm thinking of things I want to tell you guys, so I think that's uh, why. Now, another thing that, because I was checking if you guys had that gel medium that I'm going to use, and uh, you do, I checked it on Dick Blick. He has tons of it, all, all brands, 
So you can even go for a cheaper one, doesn't matter. And uh, also what I found out is that they started selling the Vallejo watercolors. Can you rem remember last year when I did all those beautiful hearts with uh, Vallejo watercolor? That was really pretty. And now Dick Blick sells them. All the colors. So you guys better check them out. I can put a link under the video. Let's do that so you can find it. And uh, that is fun stuff to work with, even for kids. It really is, especially when you're doing abstracts or something like that, because that uh, really gives you deep, intense colors and uh, makes it really worthwhile to use uh, watercolor. Now this is starting to be a pain in the uh, you know where. Usually I will tape this down just a little bit use a double tape on the bottom of this page just so it doesn't slip but because we're doing it right here and fast that's not going to work so a little bit more blue would be nice see that how that works that is so beautiful and it really does give you these beautiful I can really see this, the sea glass with the sun in the back uh, of it shining through. It makes it really beautiful. But you do need one of these broad brushes, you know, and not, not the, the fiber should be a little bit sturdy, not too uh, soft. That is what you want to go for. Just a little bit more of this light color in here and we will be ready to go. One more, a little swipey. Get rid of my little paw prints. That's okay. Okay, we're ready. We have three ready, so I'm going to be doing the stencil thing in the next video. Um, I was going to have these um, panels ready, the collage panels, this weekend. But like I said, I didn't like the colors, and I sat there thinking, you know, why don't I like it? Well, it was just too intense. So I like this better, and especially with the gold, it'll really, you know, be something special. Uh, I already have two ready, which I will not show you, no, no, because I want to put resin on top and then show you, because that really, you know, the resin really makes a difference. Uh, the resin sort of makes it uh, more chic, makes everything pop, makes everything come together. So uh, I'm hoping that's going to be something I can do without problems because I have a sort of a hate-love relationship with the uh, resin as I know most of you do so um, that's what we're gonna do this week this upcoming week and I will be showing you those next weekend so um, this is it this is uh, the three backgrounds uh, I had a lot more to tell you I'm pretty sure but <laughs> I don't know uh, um, I'll talk to you about that in the uh, next video. So in the next one, we're going to use this, uh, the beautiful stencils I've bought, and we're going to put on some gel medium. So love you all to pieces. See you in the next one.